the folks who have figured out exactly what they can do better than anyone else are the folks who are going to thrive in this market. Now, you know, it's funny because there are billions of people working in a job market. All of them have slightly different skills. But if you're, for instance, a truck driver, if you're an interstate truck driver, you're not going to have a job in five years because we can already do that with an autonomous vehicle and it's safer. And so you can already see that this space where if you have a skill that's not particularly unique, there's going to either be so much competition from other people or there's going to be competition from robots. But for example, if I were going to uni today, what I tell kids is get a dual degree in law and computer science because the future is at the intersection of those because of what's happening with the financial system, with financial technologies or fintech, with all the new products that are coming out, they sit in that intersection. So the bankers who are running CBA or any of the other big four in 25 years, they're going to have a computer science degree because so much of what they do as business has become code. So you're talking about now people developing unique skills. Now those skills go well beyond just computer science or finance or things like this. There's lots of different skills. Some of them are soft skills in communication. Some of them are hard skills in science, but they're skills. And so the future favors not just folks who can collaborate so they have some breadth, but will collaborate and offer a unique value to a team because the future is not just individuals, but it's teams working together, coming together to solve a problem, solving that problem, and then breaking up again.